Welcome to the channel. My name is Al and this is our Versus series. So every week we take our favorite character from our favorite TV show, our favorite movie, we put them against each other and we ask the question, who would win? This week we are putting Captain Marvel against Shazam. So we judge the fight by six criteria. Here's what they are. Speed. Temperament. Power. Durability. Accuracy. Fight versatility. What kind of skills and techniques are they bringing to the fight that might give them the edge? So make sure you let us know about what you think about our opinion in the comments. Now let's go. Speed. So when it comes to speed, do we really need to waste a whole bunch of time here? I mean, yeah, Captain Marvel is fast. She can travel faster than the speed of sound, but is that faster than the speed of light? The answer would be no. And yes, Shazam travels faster than the speed of light. I mean, look, Shazam actually ran down Wally West, who is arguably the fastest man in DC Comics and caught him. I mean, he doesn't have the speed of Mercury for nothing. And that's what that M stands for. Temperament. Look, so here's the thing about temperament. You would think this one goes to Shazam, right? After all, he does have the wisdom of Solomon. And in most cases, if you have the wisdom of Solomon, you would also think that goes hand in hand with what good temperament, that's right. But that's not always what we see from Shazam. As a matter of fact, we often see a boy who is quite literally trapped in a man's body. Yeah, Shazam often has the temperament of young Billy Batson and is not always thoughtful about the decisions that he makes. I know that some of you guys are gonna retcon Shazam and as a result of that, you are going to give him better temperament. You know what? I'll leave that completely up to you. But I mean, who are we kidding here? Carol Danvers is not that much better when it comes to temperament. Look, she's got a totally watch me do it attitude. And you might even say she has a bit of an anger problem. I mean, can we be honest here? Neither one of them are the poster child for temperament. So for me, temperament is a draw. Power. So when it comes to power, both Captain Marvel and Shazam have had amazing feats. There are not many people in the DC universe that have been able to knock Superman out cold or to take out some of DC's most powerful heroes. Shoot, Shazam actually punched a black hole into existence. But hey, Carol Danvers is no slouch in this area either. I mean, she was able to one punch the sentry and send him flying. She stood in the center of a star. And did I mention that she blew up a planet? But at the end of the day, power has to go to Shazam. You gotta give power to Shazam. I mean, he has access to to the power of Zeus, Zeus's power is beyond cosmic. Power goes to Shazam. Durability. So if we're talking durability, both Shazam and Captain Marvel are as tough as nails. I mean, look, they're both almost invulnerable to any type of physical attack. Now I didn't say it couldn't be harmed by any type of physical attack, but if we're being honest, it's really hard to take them out by physical attack. Captain Marvel has withstood a blast from an atomic bomb, crushing blows from villains that are much stronger than her. And not to mention that she has a very high resistance to any kind of disease, poison, or temperature. And if we're talking about Shazam, all we really need to say is that the dude has gone toe to toe with Superman and has come out on top on more than one occasion. Not to mention the fact that they both have the ability to heal themselves. Now you might be thinking this category is a draw, but no, the edge actually goes to Shazam here. In my opinion, his connection to both Zeus and Hercules gives him the edge. Durability goes to Shazam. Accuracy. Now when it comes to accuracy, we're going to call this a draw because we primarily use accuracy when we're talking about heroes that use projectiles as a major means of combat. Fight versatility. What kind of skills and techniques are they bringing to the fight that might give them the edge? Now when it comes to fight versatility, there's no question that this goes to Shazam. Now you might be thinking, Al, wait a minute, what about all the feats of Captain Marvel? What about all of her abilities? You're absolutely right. She can do some phenomenal things. And that lady has a lot of skills she's bringing to the fight. But Shazam takes this category because of all of the skills and abilities he gains from having access to the powers of the gods essentially on a multiversal level. Light versatility goes to Shazam. At the end of the day Shazam comes out on top here. Look he just brings too many resources too many things to the fight that are problematic for Carol Danvers. One of which is his ability to control others minds and we do know that she has a weakness towards mind control. We also know that Carol Danvers has a tendency to burn out if she has power output that it's too high for too long, and I think that Shazam will be able to take advantage of that. Shazam wins the fight. I mean, you guys know how much I love these versus videos. Listen, if you had a good time, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Join the best community on YouTube. Check out some more versus videos over here. As a matter of fact, I'll meet you there. Peace.